Thanks, Eugenio. Since our beginning, the application builders and developers that we serve have loved Osiro for three things. Our easy to use platform of developer tools, our quick start options to get you up and running fast, and our multi-cloud deployment options. This is how we help them solve their complex identity use cases now and in the future. We're going to show you three new things today. Auth0 Actions, Auth0 Organizations, and the Auth0 Identity Platform on Microsoft Azure. We'll start by taking a look at a B2B SaaS company in the property management space called Property0. Property0 is a global rental listing SaaS platform that enables large and small property owners to easily promote and manage their properties. To get started, Vanessa, the Property0 admin, creates a new Auth0 account and gets ready to set up Property0 on the Auth0 identity platform. Vanessa clicks through the setup wizard and configures her private cloud tenant on Microsoft Azure. She chooses her region, selects the country to deploy in, and sets a geo failover region. Next, she sets her tenant name and her desired release window for her production environment. One last check, and then she's ready to get her tenant up and running. Vanessa then receives an email confirmation that her Auth0 identity platform has been deployed in Microsoft Azure. She logs into the Auth0 dashboard to get started with customizing her environment. Keeping up with their rapid international growth has been a huge challenge for Vanessa, as each new customer requires her to create custom authentication configurations while maintaining customizations for her existing customers. She's been looking for a way to provide self-serve tools and a better onboarding experience for her business customers to help her scale fast. This is exactly why we built Auth0 Organizations. Auth0 Organizations is a purpose-built business customer identity solution for B2B SaaS companies like Property0. Leveraging organizations, Property0 can now provide a self-serve sign-up experience for their new business customers, as well as simple branding tools to manage their organization going forward. New Property Zero customer Kelly at Acme Realty visits the Property Zero website to create her new account by clicking sign up. She's prompted to enter her organization name and her email address. She clicks sign up and receives an email to complete the Property Zero sign up process. On the back end in the Auth0 dashboard, we can see that this has created an organization on the Property Zero tenant called Acme Realty. Property Zero's integration with Auth0 using the organization's APIs resulted in the creation of all things related to Acme Realty's organization. And all of this as a result of that simple sign-up flow. Acme Realty's newly created organization on Property Zero can be further customized, adding a logo and changing the color palette of their screen to match the look and feel of their own branding. These self-serve tools enable Acme Realty to create and manage their own organization without the need for Property Zero admins to engage. Let's visit Acme Realty's newly created homepage on Property Zero and sign into our account. Since Property Zero's sign in screen requires customers to sign into their specific organization, this Auth0 hosted page prompts us to enter it here. We'll enter Acme Realty. We're now taken to that same Acme Realty sign-in page and we can see that the branding and logo changes we made have been applied. Let's enter our owner's credentials and get signed in securely. So what happened under the hood throughout that sign-up and sign-in process? Let's take a look in the Auth0 dashboard. You'll first see in the overview section that the information that was entered during sign-up regarding the organization name is present. Clicking on the Members tab, we can see our first member, it's Kelly. Kelly's the owner of Acme Realty. Clicking on the owner, we can see the assigned roles this member has. In Kelly's case, she's the owner. This allows Acme Realty to set specific privileges related to the invitation as well as the administration of their organization. Finally, clicking on Connections, we can see that a database connection was configured for the Acme Realty organization. That's it. In just a few clicks, Acme Realty is now ready to list and manage their properties on the Property Zero platform, leveraging the out of the box screens and organizations APIs. Since every business is unique, one of the biggest barriers to scale is being able to customize the login workflow to deliver a digital customer experience that is uniquely tailored to each individual customer. This next generation extensibility requirement 
is exactly why we've introduced Auth0 Actions. Auth0 Actions are a cornerstone to our overall extensibility offering at Auth0. With Actions, you can add essential custom logic to your login and identity flows to meet your specific needs. Actions can be used in many different scenarios from fetching information about users from a legacy data store to executing logic based on the user's current behavior and even to connect external integrations from the Auth0 marketplace that enhance your overall extensibility experience. Best of all, multiple actions can be associated with a flow with each action executing in the order it was placed using a simple drag and drop interface. For Property Zero, they want to make it easy for new business customers to sign up for a subscription to their platform by leveraging information from Salesforce or by creating a new contact with business owner details in Salesforce if no contact information about that owner pre-exists. Leveraging Auth0 Actions and the Auth0 Marketplace, Property Zero can quickly add this no-code partner customization to their login experience. Let's create this new Salesforce login action using the drag and drop capabilities of the Actions Flow Editor. We drag the Salesforce object into the login flow, click apply, and that's it. Now, when a new business signs up for a subscription in Property Zero, an action searches Salesforce, and if a matching contact based on that email address of the business owner is found, it's automatically linked to the user account or newly created for the owner. Let's say that a new Property Zero customer, Realty Friends, is about to sign up for an account. Visiting Property Zero Salesforce instance, we can see that Realty Friends does not currently have a user account created. With this custom action now enabled, the new business account and owner are automatically added to the Property Zero Salesforce instance at signup. Let's take a look at Realty Friends owner Tony. Tony signs up for a new account with Property Zero. Now, going back to Salesforce, we can see that the new Realty Friends account has been created and the owner, Tony, is listed as the contact. This reduces the onboarding time for new Property Zero customers, and more importantly, it provides a faster and more secure way for Property Zero customers to log into their account. That's it. 